Both of Oregon's senators are listening to students raising their voices for changes in gun control laws. They're meeting with students today at a school that experienced gun violence just a few years ago. Trevor Alt is live at Reynolds High School to tell us about it. Trevor? Well, Ken and Jenny, good afternoon. Both Senators Ron Wyden and Jeff Merkley tell me they believe reforms comes from the bottom up, and they think that the national movements being started by students across the country, including some here at Reynolds High School, are going to affect change at the national level. Have heard called the DACA program. Immigration, school funding, and gun control. All controversial topics, all on the minds of Reynolds High School students. They are done with moments of silence. They want moments of action. Thursday morning, both of Oregon senators were peppered with questions by the student body, who are only a few years removed from a 2014 school shooting that killed one of their classmates and hurt one of their teachers. The problem is becoming more and more of an issue, and it's not getting better, it's getting worse, and I think that there's something that needs to be done about it. Both senators insist there is something on the cusp of being done. Senator Merkley says he's held multiple town halls in rural Oregon where he asked them about gun control methods like comprehensive background checks. I can tell you the response in all of those settings has been very strong. That's rural Oregon speaking strongly in support of such background checks. Meanwhile, Senator Wyden tells me he thinks Congress is going to pass a measure expanding those background checks even without a Democratic majority. We need Washington D.C. to step up. Washington, D.C. has been on the sidelines for far too long. The second to last question this morning was from a student who said she'd written to Senator Wyden two weeks ago and had gotten a response back, and she thanked him for listening to her even though she's not yet old enough to vote. Well, Senator Wyden said it was important all these students know Congress is becoming increasingly aware even if they can't vote this year, maybe they can't vote until 2020, Congress knows that they're paying attention to what's happening in 2018. Reporting live this afternoon in Troutdale, Trevor Alt, Coin 6 News.